Hello, and welcome to the roast of Web3 for 2022, where we put the crypto projects under fire that burned us all. Let's get to the meat of this roast. Step right up, Harmony One. Was that a $100 million bridge hack, or was a dev just really happy to find a seed phrase? Harmony's ticker is just the word one, which also describes how many people are working on the project now. And let's not forget the projects they gave millions to in grants. Projects like a women's empowerment DAO that achieved nothing in 2022 besides attending conferences and falsely accusing a man of harassment at one of them, which got him unfairly thrown out. Maybe they should have used the free money to empower some sandwich making skills instead. They might have found the fastest way to a man's heart instead of the quickest way to get one thrown out of a public venue. Next, did you know Solana backwards spells anal OS? Which perfectly describes why it's such a shit blockchain. Are you going to the moon? Well, you might have missed the launch. Because nothing says confidence in a new product like launching it when everybody is busy the day before Christmas. But enjoy your orbital shield, safe moon. They act like the white-labeled products in their ecosystem makes them innovative, but it actually makes them Costco's Kirkland brand for blockchains. Regardless of the disaster this year that is centralized exchanges, their holders are still willing to trust a project that's taken over $33 million from the liquidity pool. It's like the team heard what FTX was up to and said, wait, you can steal money and have it not on the blockchain? Write that down. Rolling further along, Avalanche. I can't believe I bought some before I realized the direction the project is headed was already in the name. Straight downhill and wrecking everything in its path. I understand Ripple is doing the Lord's work for crypto in court right now, but will you please tell your QAnon faithful holders to relax on TikTok? Go prep the doomsday seller and take a break from the New World Order chants. Only because they occasionally get some things right and it's like really freaking me out. I'd start talking about this next project, but I'm still waiting to figure out what I should say. Ethereum 2. Really? All that hype for years and it's just more long drawn out waiting? You are the Avatar 2 of crypto right now. Way too long and apparently even more to come before it's complete. Your gas fees during peak transaction times this year made driving a Hummer in California during $7 a gallon gas seem fuel efficient. And I'm still weirded out by Vitalik posting his penis outline picture like he's a nerdy version of a Jonas brother. Cardano. Was Elizabeth Holmes in charge of your blockchain? I love that your ticker is ADA, which is an acronym for the American Disability Act that ensures fairness for those with limited abilities. I'm starting a petition to change the logo so we all understand what kind of state this project is usually in. Thanks to Crypto.com's CRO, we now know what happens when a blockchain spends 100% of its money on marketing and absolutely nothing on anything else. The best thing you ever did was sponsor the UFC as a subliminal message to let us know we'd be getting the shit kicked out of us if we invested in crypto. And by the way, I want my free Spotify back. Dogecoin. How does it feel to owe your entire relevancy to Elon Musk? Your rise from meme coin to your own blockchain is like watching a hoe become a billionaire's housewife. And last but not least, for tokens and coins, the Binance Smart Chain. Pretty ironic anything about this network is called smart when it attracts the absolute dumbest projects and holders on the planet. Notable ones in memory are Hitler Enu, Spooderman, Grimace Coin, RIP Queen Elizabeth, and didn't the Squid Game disaster happen on BSC? When people wonder why mainstream isn't taking crypto seriously, just hold the Binance smart chain up like a shield and let them fire away. Not to mention, it is literally like if Ethereum was made in China and you ordered the tokens on Wish. I'd be remiss if we didn't hold a few centralized hands to the fire while we're here. So first, I'd like to thank the Federal Reserve for the portion control diet I'm doing in 2023. It's where I only spend the amount I was paying for groceries in 2019, and if I'm hungry after that, I just starve. It's called inflation, and it looks like I'll only be eating half of what I used to. The dominoes of Luna, Celsius, 3AC, FTX, and other exchanges that have all fallen in 2022 have left us asking, does anybody actually know why crypto was made in the first place? Exposing all the exchanges this year has been like watching the same villain at the end of a Scooby-Doo episode, just unmasking one similar idiot after another. 
But what amazes me is the balls on these people who made such enormous public caricatures of themselves. SBF, probably high on Adderall, told Congress in person and under oath that some exchanges are secretly insolvent. That's like your boyfriend sitting across from you at dinner saying some guys are cheating on their girlfriends right now. But we all know now that FTX made sure politicians listened and looked for problems like this. And last but not least, 2022 shall also be remembered as the year that influencers started being held accountable for promotions of scam projects. I'm so glad the government is really taking this seriously now by policing known crypto influencer Kim Kardashian and $600 Venmo transactions. Keep up the good work, guys. Your aim is as fantastic as Dick Cheney's during a quail hunt. Regardless of the nuclear war zone landscape that we end crypto with in 2022, just remember that one down year is usually followed by three up years. And lastly, I'll leave you with this glimmer of hope. Your investment can only go down 100%, but it can go up over a thousand. Here's to a 100x in 2023. Happy New Year, and I'll see you back with you news, where you get some useless crypto news next year.